always question why there's an organic distance between a father and son, why there is always that angst in that relationship. And I'm sure there are many in this house that have experienced that emotion in their own homes, in their own environment. Where do you think the origin of that distance came? Because every generation makes the same mistake, <laughs> which means they're not learning at all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when we say family, you know, in Italy family meant crime. Crime? Yeah. Mafia was always referred to as the family. Family. Yes. So in a way it's a kind of crime. It is the most basic institution in the making of a society, but it does not mean you must remain basic because this is a biological identity that we have. Biology is a reality, we can't deny it. Obviously this was in some way, at least to a certain extent, our parents gave this to us, one part of it at least. Today the way it is, the way it looks is essentially because of them. Well, it was given to them by somebody else, that's another point, but to us it was given by them. So it's a biological identity. This limiting oneself to one's biological identity, identity for an entire lifetime is… Uh, is a crime because it creates so many things. In this country, this country has suffered a lot from a long time. Just now you released the Mahabharat uh, video. Entire Mahabharat is family problem. It is Dhritarashtra syndrome. We are still suffering. My son is best, no matter what. Even today we are suffering the same thing. My son is best and he should become the king no matter what. It's not Some just… Some sons haven't managed very well <laughs> So, family is a basic identity that we are born with. It's a wonderful thing when you're a child because without that family support, you wouldn't be who you are today in many ways, okay? With all due respect and regard and great respect for the family because Human creature is born in such a way that as soon as you fall out of your mother's womb, you're not ready to get up on your feet and do things like other creatures. It needs a, a long gestation period before a man becomes a man or a woman becomes a woman. There is a long period which… where the incubation of family is most important and vital, there's no question about that. But you're supposed to grow beyond that identity, but a whole lot of people just never grow beyond that identity for which they suffer. And sometimes if they are born in certain places, they make the entire nation suffer <laughs> uh, You are supposed to grow out of that. As a child, it's most vital that you are identified with the family. But as an adult, you are supposed to grow beyond your biology because biology is the most basic identity. One has to grow beyond that. So having said that, is it necessary that every father and every son has to have some kind of angst? It is not about father and son, it is just two men being accommodated in the same home. <laughs> when you were eight, ten, your father was godlike. So this problem started after you became fifteen, sixteen, when you want to be a man and there's not enough space. This big man is occupying too much space. And that man thinks this is my space and who is this? <laughs> they can't recognize each other as father and son because now there are… there is no father and son, there are two men in the same house and there's not enough space. This happens not just in human families. Every creature, whether it's an elephant or a buffalo or whatever, in every creature's life this happens that there will be some friction and either the younger one goes out or the older one goes out. This happens everywhere because this is not a problem between pa father and son. This is two men trying to share the same space and the same woman called mother to one and wife to the other. Two men.
Well, that certainly breaks a very strong myth that this country is operated with because the problem was always meant to be two women uh, in the same house and you just changed it on his head, which I believe is true because I believe the problem lies in the fact that two men can't be accommodated. No, it also happens between women in a different way. Yeah. But uh, women have a way of uh, covering their frictions in certain way, they do it in a certain way, in a feminine way. Yeah. Men will do it in more <laughs> head to head on. Yeah. <laughs> head butting is the man's way. Woman's way is different, she will do it differently, but the friction happens.